I gotta go make things so complicated. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's So, like, seriously, why you have to go and make things so complicated? Isn't this journey challenging enough? Does it not take all of you, everything you have, every single fiber of your being, to work through the challenges being presented to you on your Twin Flame journey? The journey to love is simple. Identify where within yourself that you're not feeling good and heal that part of yourself. And then keep repeating this action over and over and over. That's it in its simplest form. The answers you seek are a result of healing yourself. They come to you in healing your core wounds. This action results in you finding peace within yourself where you once were not experiencing peace. Answers and results come from this newly attained peace from within you. Peace is at the top of the list as a very basic, essential ingredient to your union. Inner peace means authentically having a gentle, calm, loving feeling within yourself. Peace isn't a fabricated feeling, meaning it's something you work toward by healing away the layers of separation one step at a time. Can you ignore your feelings and falsify for yourself a feeling of peace? Yes, you can. But that is not true peace. That is not really having peace. You can absolutely make yourself feel high in a variety of different ways. Does that make you actually have peace or feel good within yourself, like a, on a permanent level? No, it certainly does not. It's just avoiding the problem and making yourself feel uh, something that isn't true, that isn't really there. So take away all the things that you may be doing to make yourself feel high, make yourself to, um, induce a feeling of happiness or induce a feeling of peace right now maybe in order to get high or maybe in order to feel happy or uh, feel a good feeling you know maybe you do drugs maybe it's drugs or physical substances that uh, you you do to cause that. Maybe it's um, latching on very tightly to uh, some signs or synchronicities. Right? Those signs and synchronicities are not the actual thing that you desire. They are just a communication to you. Hopefully you're not uh, you know you're not gonna rip someone's license plate off their vehicle and treat it as it's your twin flame because just because you know you resonate with the number or letters on it you're not carrying it around town and you're not going to the movies with with it or having a romantic bath with with this license plate or this sign or or some kind of you know physical thing that you see that uh reminds you of your twin flame and, you know, maybe it's woo-woo stuff. Like, uh, oh my God, 
I'm in another dimension right now. I'm just going to float around in my astral body and have astral sex everywhere. Now I'm in Tokyo. Now I'm in Iceland. Whoa. Astral body. You need to be grounded. Allowing yourself to float away into Never Never Land is giving you a high feeling, right? But when you come back down to Earth, you still have to deal with reality. You still have to deal with your challenges. And getting high doesn't make any of your problems or challenges go away. It detaches you from yourself. And you can't be present and confront what you need to work through if you're off in outer space. So feeling high is a temporary thing. Um, and it shouldn't really be a goal that you have to, um, to get high, to get, you know, to fabricate uh, some kind of feeling um, that isn't true. And that's a cycle. You know, it repeats itself over and over and over. You get high, you feel good because you're high, and you come back to reality eventually and realize that that's no good. You know, reality is no good. I don't, I don't feel very good there. Uh, I don't like this at all. Uh, so you look for another way to get high again. But nothing really changes except maybe how you're trying to maintain your high. And if you notice that, this, this high is exhausting to maintain. Not to mention when you come down or crash, it probably, you know, feels pretty terrible. Because it's not, you know, that high wasn't real. And you will always come down back to your baseline feeling. Which, whatever that was, happened to be before, you know, this, you... You manufactured this high. So if you are staying grounded and working through your core wounds, each time you heal one, you feel some degree higher than you, uh, than you did before. Um, that could be a lot or a little, depending upon the core wound that, that you heal, that you work through. However, in this way, you get to keep that high feeling. It is permanent because you healed a core wound and you raised your level of energy to, you know, feeling this way now. It becomes your new baseline feeling. So just like think of the possibilities here. If you put the same energy that you designate to uh, getting yourself higher, making yourself high in, in whatever way, into healing your core wounds on a daily basis, you could easily feel good all the time. You could easily feel that way permanently. And it pretty much goes without saying that the faster you get started, healing your core wounds, the faster you can, you know, start feeling happy and good about yourself, like in a real way, for real. Um, and being able to do that for yourself and not need something else to do that for you or uh, need something outside of you to generate that, that good feeling that's priceless. You're giving to yourself. So this is not a journey about getting high or just making yourself feel good. You know, uh, forcing yourself to feel good by ignoring the real issues that you're meant to look at. This is a journey of looking at those issues that you're ignoring or that you would like to ignore 
in order to work through them and truly feel good. So go down to uh, the description box below and click on the links or visit asoneguidance.com and receive help from a divine masculine perspective. And I will see you next time.